Let's now log in into the application with your new global password and global PIN. You will be greeted by the main screen of the application and the first step you should do is go to settings, preferences and set everything accordingly to your wishes. For example, you can change the fiat value, euro, dollar, real, Canadian dollar, Australian dollar, many options are available. Then you can switch the team. You have a selection of classic team, dark mode or light mode. So let's switch to dark mode, for example. And languages available offer you selection of Mandarin, Slovenian, German, and English. Let's stay in English for the tutorial. You have an option to show currencies with no fonts in the portfolio or hide them. Check for updates, which we certainly recommend you do automatically. Enable or disable the advanced mode, which offers options available for advanced users. Warn you if the BC daemon is not running. Again, BC daemon is used for communication with third-party websites and applications. And then a couple of warnings that will help you avoid paying huge fees for cryptocurrencies. So if, for example, a fee will exceed five euros, I will get a warning that there is a high fee and you can change that value accordingly to your preference. Confirmations until accepted means of how many confirmations a crypto transaction has to have that the application will treat it as accepted. 